G'day guys. Welcome back. Welcome to pouring your heart out. How are you? Are you all doing well today? Hope so. Hope you're all keeping well. I'm going to do a little experiment today. Something a little bit fun with my resin. There it is. I've made up about 300 grams of resin and it is this one whoops this one here the barns clarity it sets up really fast so um, like it's it's hard like in 12 hours you can demold if you're doing coaster so because I want to get this project done today that's what I'm using and let's move my cups out of the way look what I've got I've got a piece of bubble wrap so I'm gonna see what happens if I do you know, like a free form bowl with bubble wrap. So I get that sort of bubbly, weird looking, bumpy exterior. So I've got this plastic, um, it's just a serving tray, plastic one, El Cheapo. And I'm gonna put the bubble wrap in there and I'm putting it bubble side up. So the smooth flat sides on the bottom and the bubbles are up on the top. Now, I want it to be sort of a little bit transparent, so I'm just going to use alcohol ink. I've got the sapphire blue that I'm going to do in the middle, and then I'm going to do the Baja blue sort of around there, and then I'm going to put clear around the edges. And then I'm going to wait. I'm going to test it at about half an hour. Oh, sorry, not half an hour, one and a half hours, and uh, I see what it, what it looks like. Because the last one I did, I did that splash one, you know, that drip one. Um, I only waited, I think, an hour and 10 minutes for that one, and it, as you saw, it dripped. Now, obviously I need the most for the clear because it's got the most area to, to go around because it's a bigger area there than just in the middle. So that one can have a little bit, and then this middle bit is going to be the smallest. So small, medium and large. I'll just keep a little bit of clear left in case I need to make up any more of one particular color, but hopefully that'll be all right. So that'll be my clear. Now the darkest one is the sapphire as opposed to the Baja. A little bit different. Give that a shake, shake, shake. Yeah, so no um, pigments in this one. Um, I just want it to be a little bit on the transparent side. So it looks like water, you know, glass. So let's have a look and see what three drops looks like. Why won't you come out? One, two, three. Actually, let's go five. Five of you. I haven't got my sticks organized. I'm a little bit unorganized this morning. Here we go. All right, let's stir that one up. And the ink sort of goes to the side and sticks to the side of your cup. So a plastic cup's good because then you can, you know, get the ink off the side. If you use a, a paper cup, it kind of sticks to the side and you lose half of it. All right, so we'll see. I'll probably make it darker, but let's see. So that's that one. Let's put some of the Baja. Baja? Ha, ha, ha. Or Baja. I think it's Baja. We'll do... One, two, three. Let's see what that one looks like. This looks quite green, doesn't it, that one? That's the problem I had with the last one. It looked green. Okay, I like that colour. I might have to, I think I might have to add a little bit of something to that other one because it looks more of a green to me. This one, I like this one. This is perfect. Happy with that one. I wouldn't actually add any more color to that one. But this one, yeah, it see, it looks green, doesn't it? Let me just go and see what I've got in my little cupboard of magic. Right, I had a little look in my cupboard of <laughs> resin things. Now this one is um, Ocean Resin Tint by Color Passion. So let's have a little look and see. see it looks, it's got quite a dark blue on the edge there. One, two, three, four, five. It looks like a nice colour. So let's have a look. Let me get my glove back on. I don't want to get blue ink all over my fingers. Let's 
How are they looking? It's still looking quite green. I'm going to put another five in. One, two, three, four, five. As I said, I do want the centre to be darker, but I want it to be blue, not green. You know, bluey, bluey green, I guess, is okay, like oceany colours. That's better. Can you see those two together? I can't turn them upside down for you, I'm sorry, so you can see the bottom. All right, I think that's going to be better. Yep, all right, let's do that. Let's do this. Move those out of the way. A bit, of a bit of a blow, make sure I haven't got any hair stuck in there. <clears throat> so the, the platter is just a bit of a, I don't know, it's like a bit of a banana shape like that. What would you call that? Concave. So we'll just pour some in there, like following the shape of the platter. <laughs> it's all making its way into, into those little crevices, into those little bubble wrap holes. Hopefully that's enough for my middle. Oh, that's looking pretty. And then the next colour. I guess where the out see the outside here, it's um it's sort of spreading out, so it might look really pretty when the two colours mix together and kind of blend. So I'll just pour that on the outside and let it run in. I'm hoping I've got enough resin mixed up. Now I don't want it really thick, my little my bowl or platter or whatever it ends up being. I'm going to make sure that I've covered in all those little bubbles. I don't want them sticking out. Oh, maybe I haven't made enough. Maybe I'll make up a little bit more. Oh no, we'll, we'll see what happens. So I've got a little bit of resin left over, but maybe that'll just be my clear for the outside, hey? See, I've got about that much distance. I'll have to hold this down, actually. Pour the resin in. Because it wants to, it wants to pop back up again. Right, I'm just going to pour in the rest of the clear. Got a little bit left. Probably just made up enough, actually. Bit of a, a buckle there. Oh, it's not really. It's not going to matter because once it's laid over its little container. I haven't decided what I'm going to use yet to lay it on. And I can't really see what the colours are doing at the moment because of the, the bubbles and, and the black background and, and all that. So I don't really know what it's going to do just yet. But um, now I'm going to give it a really quick torch. Not too high because obviously I'm going to, you know, it's got plastic under it and I don't want to melt my plastic. So there, that's enough. Real quick. Okay, well that was a quick video, wasn't it? Oh dear, oh dear. All right, now I'm going to come back in one and a half hours and uh, see if it's hard enough to pick up without dripping, but not too hard that I can't still bend it into shape. So we'll test it in an hour and a half. I'll be back then. Hey guys. <laughs> it's actually been three and a half hours. Um, I did come back and check like every half hour, but I remembered when I did my drip bowl, it was about an hour and a half. But then when I did um, this one, this bowl here, this was five hours. So, and it was, it could have been a little bit less. So it's three and a half hours. Um, I think a good test is to actually touch it and if you don't get stuck to it <laughs> then then you're good to go that's what I think anyway so we'll give it a go it's it's still hopefully uh, yes look it's still bendy so yay right now I've got this bowl and because I want 
um, this side to be on the outside. I'm going to have to peel it off and put it over this piece of plastic, I think. So the smooth side is going to be on the inside of the bowl. So if you want the inside of the bowl, then it's got to be like that. Yeah, that's it. Oh my god, why was that so hard? <laughs> All right, well, it's starting to it's starting to set up. So I'm going to just do that. Yeah, because that makes sense. The smooth side. Well, at the moment it's smooth, but when I peel the plastic, the well, the bubble wrap off. I should have all the bubbles on the outside and on the other side is the smooth side. Gee, I could have taken it off a little bit earlier, I think. So um, I'm just going to kind of shape this a little bit. So I've got the bubble wrap on one side, I've got the plastic on the inside and oh, I don't need gloves on, what am I doing? Oh, I'm getting myself all worked up. Oh, all in a tiz, all in a tiz. So, I'm just not used to having plastic on both sides. So I've got plastic on this side, I've got plastic on the other side. I might actually put something in there just to hold those up. Um, what can I use? Um, I think these, I, I used these before, these little, these little bottles of um, pigment paste. Let's see if they'll work again. Uh, actually, no, that's a bit high. It needs to be a little bit shorter than that. Um, 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 oh, maybe these. I've used these ones before. Let's try those. Just to kind of keep that up there on the outside. Just like that. Just to stop it from drooping too much. And then I want these to come down. I guess I could maybe have used a smaller bowl, couldn't I? Because I'm not getting that much in the way of shaping. <laughs> I'm really not getting much in the way of shaping because it's a big bowl. Actually, maybe I'll try and put something under there as well. Then I can have it sort of that kind of a shape like that. So it's going to have a little points there and then a little point there. Yeah, I didn't want it like too like this. I wanted it more open, you know. You know what I mean? Which I could have. I could have probably done this half an hour earlier, really. I wonder if that'll stay. I'm going to put something under there like these. Get another two of those. Here's two purple ones. I don't know, maybe I need a smaller bowl. Because it's going to be quite a wide bowl, isn't it? That's really not going to do anything. I can't get close enough there, so I'll just I'll just do that. And that'll just it's just kind of holding the plastic up really. Really, that's all it's doing. I'll just push these ones down. I will just see what it looks like. It, it might be alright. This is going to be quite a wide a wide bowl, I guess. Not a really high with lots of um, folds in it. I can do that next time, I guess. I'll just do this one for now. See what happens. Just want to see what the colours are like and, and how the bubble look looks like. Um, and then, yeah, next time um, I will take it out after three hours instead of three and a half. And maybe try a smaller bowl and, and get some like more folds and like my hand movements <laughs> more folds and things. <laughs> all right, I think that's all right. Yep, that's, that's all right. Let's go and have a little look at it, hey? Eh? So basically, that's what I've done. Just spread that one out there, and that one's just sitting there. And I'm not sure, like I don't know how much resin's on the very edge, like it could be quite thin, I, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see what happens when um, when I peel this bubble wrap off. Hopefully it'll come off okay. 
But we've got the, I don't know where the resin ends. <laughs> it looks as if, like I can't see any clear here. It looks as if the colors all run down. Yeah, it might be a little bit of clear here. But uh, yeah, it looks as if the colors all run down there. All right, well, um, I'll give that uh, a few hours or maybe overnight. And I'll see if I can peel the bubble wrap off. Hopefully I can. Cross fingers that I can actually peel it off. All right, I'll see you then. I went and got this bowl. It's it's got a smaller top. I want to see if I can put it over that. I just think that it might be a nicer shape. It's it's very um, that one's very shallow. Let's just see if I can change it over <clears throat> like so. Pop you down. That'll just give me maybe a little bit more. I might have left it a bit long. And it's not like I can heat this because um, I might melt my plastic. So I'm just going to... It's not a lot different. I'm still going to pop those under there. It's not a huge amount of, of, of difference in the shape. Okay, that'll do. Stop fussing, woman. Okay, there we go. That'll be fine. It's really not that much different, but <laughs> hopefully enough to make it a little bit more deep. All right. Well, um, I'll see you in um, maybe four hours. Good morning. I left it overnight. Make sure it was nice and hard. Oh, my gosh. I hope I, hope I can get these um, bubble wrap off. All right, let's just, oh, it's quite light. I always forget how light they are. Let's get all this stuff out of the way. Let me move my bowl. Move this baking paper. Right, let's get the inside plastic out first. That comes out nice and easy, doesn't it? I can reuse that because I haven't heated it, so it hasn't shrunk. So I can reuse that bit of plastic, so that's good. I've been saving all my plastic now. I buy a lot of stuff on eBay, and a lot of it comes with bubble wrap or with plastic. So I've been keeping it all. all right, so that's the inside. It's pretty smooth. Uh, except you can feel, like you can feel the, you know, the ripples of, of the plastic. But this is the side that we're interested in. And because this is the side we're interested in, I was thinking it really should have been like a thinner higher type of a vase because you want to see the outside texture and not the inside <laughs> it didn't occur to me till afterwards i thought oh yeah i've done it the wrong way but i may do another one to put on the inside and and you know do them together so i'll probably do that but enough chit chatting let's see if this um, bubble wrap will actually come off yeah. loosen it all the way around I guess it's going to have sharp edges this is noisy is it coming off oh ooh, goodness me look at that all right. I'm going to get you down here next to me because you can't see the fun bits hang on don't go anywhere Look, look underneath. This is very sharp though. Like <laughs> we're not going to be able to let kids play with this one. Because, um, you know, where, where the resin's gone like through half a bubble and up through the areas between the bubbles and it's just sort of stopped. So it's left it quite sharp and pointy in those areas. Grand reveal, oh my gosh. Oh, look at it. See, I might just have to leave it like this, upside down, so that we can actually see. Oh, it's coming off. Oh, there's a little, little tiny bit of plastic just left behind there. I get it out. 
I'll get it out later. Just a little bit stuck in there. Oh, wow, look at it. It's so pretty. Look. <laughs> but see the sharp bits on top. That's okay. I mean, I guess if you were really worried about it, you could you could sand them but um i think it's just all part of the the architecture of it and look at the dark blue going into the light blue and into the white so yeah the the middle the inside isn't all that attractive i think i will put do another one in exactly the same colors and i'll make it like taller so that you can actually see the outside because you're losing you know you're losing that gorgeous effect <laughs> because it's you can't see it it's all on the outside unless it's um oh what about a lamp or something have it that way you could make it i don't know make it into something so that you can actually see the outside or do you think i should have had the bubble wrap on the inside no but then you couldn't be able to put anything in it would you no it's more it's more that architect architectural look that you're after so there you go um definitely gonna have to do it again and put one on the inside so that, and you know put the petals up or maybe oh what about three what about if i do three and have one that's a little bit more sort of wide and then the middle one really narrow so that there's three different looks and sort of twist them i think that would be really pretty so i'll do that um i'll do the two together next time and then we'll set them inside but Oh my gosh, I love it. Have a go at this, you guys. It's so much fun, even though it's really sharp. <laughs> sharp and pointy. Oh, that's so pretty. Do you love how you can still see through it? And it's the thickness. It's the thickness of a piece of bubble wrap. <laughs> yeah, oh, happy with that. Not bad for a first attempt. All right. Um, I guess there's no point me... Sh yeah, I'll, I'll take a photo of it and... Um, show you outside I guess and then I'll make another one where I do the other two and then I can fit them all together okay all right otherwise this video is going to be way too long all right thanks for watching you guys stay tuned for the finished product